Ooh, so pretty. And then I also brought my Malmay, Malmay, Malmay. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a bronzy makeup get ready with me video for y'all today. I just was kind of feeling like doing a bronzy sort of makeup look. So I thought I'll just film a get ready with me and do it on camera with y'all. So that's what this video is today. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do get ready with me's favorites, new drugstore um, reviews, empties, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are doing this bronzy makeup look in a get ready with me. So let's get to it. Okay, so I already applied my skincare. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Revlon Skin Caring Foundation in 117. And I'm going to apply this with a brush. I love this foundation. So pretty and glowy. I think I might have gotten too much, but we'll see. I like this foundation just looks kind of light and skin-like and it's just not over the top and it has this beautiful kind of soft glow to it, but then it wears well for it being kind of more of a glowy foundation. The wear time impresses me. Doing a little bit of eyeshadow primer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion. For brows, I grabbed my It Cosmetics Brow Powerful and Universal Taupe. Just gonna use some of this. This is a good, just kind of fast brow product. These sort of like bigger angled brow pencils. I just find that they're kind of a good one to grab if you're trying to go for just a a quicker, easier brow. Maybe not like the perfect precision, but for fast brows. All right, gonna set my eyeshadow primer with a little bit of powder and also lightly go over my brows. I like to do that, just kind of sets them a little bit and also I feel like just kind of tones them down a little bit. Okay, for eyes, I grabbed my e.l.f bite size eyeshadow palettes in I Love You A Latte and Pumpkin Pie. This one is so pretty and kind of coppery bronzy. So I'm gonna start with this one, I Love You A Latte. And I think I'm gonna take a little combo of the two right here. Start with that, that all over my lid and up into my crease, just kind of blending that as a first step. I just love these eyeshadows. Every time I use them, I'm like, these are so good. I mean, the formula is just incredible and they're so affordable. I Love You A Latte is definitely one of my favorites just because it's beautiful by itself. And then it's that great palette to have on hand to use with other things. So it's just like a good staple little palette to have on hand. I mean, that right there, beautiful. Get a little bit of liner and you're out the door. It's so good. Okay, next I'm going to use from Pumpkin Pie, I think I'm going to use this one, which is less coppery than this one. I'm kind of going for a little bit more bronzy looking. So I'm going to get some of this. First off with no setting spray, just with a little bit of this by itself. Ooh, that's so pretty and no setting spray. I just love it. Probably gonna have to clean up under my eyes a little bit because I do have a little bit of fallout with that, but that's so pretty. Okay, a little bit of shimmer, I'm thinking. So I grabbed both of these. This one is more of a golden sort of a tone to it. These are the Moira Diamond Days Liquid Eyeshadows or Liquid Shadows. So this one is main character and it has more of a golden, kind of a little bit of a duo chromey pinky gold shift to it. So I don't know about that one. It's beautiful though. And then this one is eye contact. And this one is more of a bronzy base with kind of a silvery shimmer to it. So I think I'm gonna use a little bit of this one, but I'm gonna get a pencil brush and just apply a tiny little bit of this, just a few little dots, just to kind of catch the light, but I don't want it to like overtake the eye look because this has a little bit of a silver shimmer to it. I'm just gonna kind of keep playing with this and build it up because I can't take it away easily, but I can always add more. I think like that, like not over the top, just a little bit of a fun shimmer. 
Okay, for liner, I'm gonna use the Rimmel Scandalize. I've got a tiny little bit of this one left, and then I also have a newer one. This is in the brown color, but it's really more of a bronzy. Um, it's got a little bit of a bronzy tone to it. I love this eyeliner. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of it and use a little like angled brush to kind of um, blend it a little bit if I need to. I like to bring up the outer corner and then use a brush to kind of blend. And I do it a little bit thicker on the outer corner. Even if I don't bring it up quite as much, I do still like to make it thicker on the outer corner because I feel like that does still kind of lift my eyes a little bit, kind of helps with that look. Okay, I cleaned up under my eyes just a little bit, nothing major, just a little tiny cleanup. And now I'm gonna use a combo of the e.l.f. Lash and Roll and then the Milani Anti-Gravity. So I kind of apply this one first, then a little bit of this one, then usually a little bit more of this too. I like to layer them. These are both great mascaras. I mean, you could say great drugstore mascaras or just, I mean, great mascaras in general. They're just good. So there's the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. So it just kind of like gives a fluttery look to the lashes, but you can build it up quite a bit. I mean, it's still going to never be like super volume, but if you like that kind of fluttery look, but that doesn't give you like spidery lashes, I really think this one's good. And I like that it can be built up. It's just a really pretty mascara. It's not just overly volumizing or whatever, but it is really good at separating the lashes and making them look longer. So now I'm going to use some of the anti-gravity for that nice volume. The wand on this one is such an interesting shape. It's like a hourglass kind of a shape to it. I think it's okay. I mean, I can, you know, work with it and it's fine, but I'm not like, ooh, I love this wand. It's just sort of a little bit goofy, but I mean, I love the mascara, so I guess it works fine. And there is that one. I love it. All right, and then just one more quick round of the lash and roll. I really don't have to do this, but why not? Okay, now for under eyes, I'm gonna try to go pretty light with everything. So I'm gonna start with the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the brightener. I love this. I have used this for years and years. This is the pinky shade. And it's just so pretty. I am using a brush. I mean, look at that difference. That's amazing. And I used just the tiniest little amount, got some on a brush like that, and then applied it. And I always start on the inner part where the discoloration and the shadowing is the most intense. And then I kind of blend it out. Use just a tiny bit of product out here. This is just so pretty. Such a good color corrector. I love the formula. And then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me. Probably if I had to pick one concealer, I think this would be my favorite just because it's so good for using in different ways. I mean, it's great on the face. It's great under the eyes. It's great for keeping in your purse and touch-ups and it's just awesome. Again, I use it mostly right there where it's the most intense. Just using it on some areas of my face where I have some kind of redness or I want a little bit more like highlighting or coverage, mainly kind of right here in between my eyes and around my nose and then on my chin. Okay, now I'm gonna set my T-zone with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Rose Petal. I have used this for years. I love the formula of this powder. It's just my favorite. Best one I've ever found. I have used this so long and tried so many different things and I always go back to this powder. The formula is just incredible. It's so smoothing and flattering and forgiving. It's just amazing. And I personally, for me, I really need a pinky tone powder, um, especially for under my eyes because if it's, and same with concealer, if it's too yellow, ooh, it just, it doesn't work. So. I definitely like a more pinky tone powder like this one is. Okay, and then I'm gonna use a really light layer of, uh, where did I go, where did I go? Face powder, the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Brighten and Fair. Just gonna use the tiniest little bit of this because I am gonna use a little bit of a cream product um, on my cheeks. Okay, for kind of a glowy sort of a um, contour, I'm gonna start with the e.l.f. 
Halo Glow Liquid Filter, but in the shade, oh gosh, what is this? Um, shade six, shade six. Okay, so I'm gonna get a little bit of this, very little, because again, you can always add more and I don't wanna go overboard with it. I'm gonna put it a little bit higher. So I'm gonna start, this looks ridiculous how little there is, but I'm gonna start with that and just blend that out and then go back in if I need more. Add a little bit up on my forehead. Not a lot, just a little bit. On my jawline and on my neck, I didn't add any more. I'm just kind of using whatever was on my brush. So there's that, hair across my face, hair across my face. Okay, I brought several blush options. So let's see, so I brought Laura Geller Sunswept. So this one, I'm not sure what I want to use. So Sunswept, that's so beautiful. And then Honeysuckle, Laura Geller. This one's beautiful too. This one's a little bit lighter and more of a soft bronze. Okay, I'm leaning towards Sunswept of these two. And then I also brought my Malmay, 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 Almay Healthy Hue in I think it's nearly nude. This one's gorgeous. Ooh, so pretty. Actually very close to it's well not that close, but similar to Sunswept. Let's start with a little bit of this one and then I'm gonna use Sunswept over it because why not? This is the Almay. I'm gonna bring it up on my forehead a little bit too. Cause I like to bring a little bit of a a rosy pinky tone. So yeah. And I'll, I'll kind of tone it all down with a little bit of powder in a second too. Okay, then I'm gonna use a little bit of Sunswept over the top, just the tiniest little bit, because it doesn't take a lot. Bring this kind of a little bit, not really lower, but sort of hitting the apples of my cheeks with this. Then I'm gonna use MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow. This is a really pretty, kind of golden shade, like a soft golden shade. So I'm gonna take a highlighter brush and put this, we've already got kind of a bit of a glow, but I'm gonna add even more with this. So pretty. Put a little bit up on my forehead. I didn't get any more product. I'm just using what was already on my brush. Use a little tiny bit of this on the inner corners of my eyes too, just for a little bit of a soft glow. Nothing over the top. That looks a little dark on the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm gonna use Essence Pure Nude Highlighter on the inner corners of my eyes to kind of bring that a little bit lighter. Yeah, I like that more. A little bit too deep on my skin tone for the inner corner of the eye. Okay, so let's tone this down. So we've got, like, I don't feel like this is blended very well. So I'm gonna get my powder brush and my powder, very little of my powder. Like I, I just barely tapped into it. I literally went boop. So really honestly, not even that much product on my brush, just kind of what was already there. And I'm just going along the edges and then maybe like lightly over the top, but mostly along the edges. And I just feel like this is like the key to getting a slightly better blend. I don't know what it is, but it just kind of helps soften everything. Okay, last up for lips. So I'm gonna start with these, mainly Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner in Beige Babe, and then the Essence Eight Hour Matte um, in Rosy Nude. So I'm mainly gonna use this one, and then if I need a little bit of this around the outsides of my lips, I'll do that. Um, just for the initial kind of shape, but going to fill in my lips with this, little bit of this on the outside if I need it. This one's the other shade, the Essence. Okay, and then I grabbed three of my Maybelline Lifter Glosses, and just looking, I think I'm going to go with this one, which is Amber. So I'm going to use a little bit of this because it has this kind of like warmth to it. Okay, so here is the finished look, just a very kind of bronzy sort of look. I really like how it came together. So 
Hope that you guys really enjoy getting ready with me today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know down below what your kind of go-to bronzy makeup look is. What are some of your favorite products? I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video.